Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the complete the story with a story challenge, I guess. It's kind of like Mad Libs, I think that's what it's called. We also used to play a game like this uh, called Consequences, where it was like a boy and a girl, he said, she said, and the consequence was. And you passed it between people and you all kind of filled out bits of this. This one's a little different, it's part of Chapter Kate's Monsterathon. I'll link below to info about that. I didn't actually take part in the readathon, but I did read a horror novel during the time. I read uh, Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King. So that's what I'm going to use. There's a Google Doc I'll link to as well, so you can do this yourself if you want. And basically you have to go through and find like adjectives and nouns and everything on like various different pages what I will say was was funny that I think it asked for one or two adverbs and this is Stephen King and he he hates adverbs so it sent me to page like 254 and I had to get like eight pages in to find the next adverb but uh yeah anyway without further ado I'm gonna read you the story that I've created with this no one ever went into the house on brilliant lane everyone knew it was haunted at all hours of the day and night, you could hear big screaming and the sounds of someone or something auditioning. <laughs> oh, that's... I, that's... Uh, <laughs> you could hear big screaming and the sounds of someone or something auditioning. Amazing. Sorry, where was I? One time, someone insisted they saw a female looking out at them from the attic window. Of course they did, yeah, it's a porn audition. Another person said they saw Clint jump off the reef and fly into the sky. All of, all of the villagers stayed away for fear some monster would come out and march them. Until a clean-shaven villager named Evie the Weirdo decided they were going to go in and see what all the fuss was about. What makes you think you'll come out alive? The villagers asked them. Let us through, said Evie the Weirdo. So they turned from the village and backed up to the house. The door of the house opened softly and Evie the Weirdo walked in. The first thing Evie the Weirdo saw was darkness. Then, out of the corner of her eye... A liar! They screamed and equipped into the next room, but something even more terrifying was waiting for them. A noodle strangling mother focused out of the house, screaming, Mama! Mama! Can you wake up for me? This considered all the villagers. They tried to forget what Evie the weirdo said, but it haunted them for the rest of their days. Alright, well that's what happened with this. I don't know how well all of the uh, words fitted, but not a bad little story about Evie the weirdo. Equipping out of a house. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, that was short and sweet. Be sure to give this a go yourself and let me know in the comments below if you do this as well. Again, as I say, I'll link below to where you can find out about Monsterathon and you can visit Chapter Kate's channel. You can see the uh, Google Doc that has like the info to do this. And yeah, like I say, if you do a video of it or even if you just want to do it in the comments below, um, definitely let me know. The only thing I think, the only stipulation is it has to be a book over 300 pages. So there we have it. That was my attempt at completing the story with a story. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you made of this weirdness. <laughs> hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.